Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha with Ice Cream Fitness here. Sorry if I'm a little hoarse, I'm coming down with a cold this week. All right, someone sent me a private message a couple days ago asking if when someone gains strength on a cut, is it indicative of gaining muscle or is it purely neural adaptation? And does it mean they will gain muscle easier when they end the cut and go back into a bulk? And I'm going to try to answer that for you guys today. But hold on, let me give you guys a bicep shot first. All right, I want to be very particular in the way I answer this because this is a complicated question and I don't want to cause any confusion here. First of all, when you gain strength, it is usually a change in neural efficiency, how fast you recruit motor units, or it is a thickening of the myofibular cross-sections of your muscle tissue, the contractile proteins. But most of the time, it's actually a combination of the two in different amounts. Now, the thing to remember with any sort of strength training program, neural adaptations come first, hypertrophy second in terms of priority because it's metabolically expensive for the body to create muscle tissue and we are evolved to survive ice ages and famine. So our body doesn't want to add new tissue unless it has to. It will always make neural adaptations first when new stress is applied. So particularly for someone who's a novice, you actually gain in your first month or two of lifting weights. When you first started, you gained almost no muscle mass, if any. You might have looked like you did because you're storing more muscle glycogen, but the actual muscle fibers probably didn't hypertrophy any significant amount. It was all neural adaptation. And then under chronic stress, the body started hypertrophying the muscle tissue. So when you go into a cut, we run into an interesting situation because it is difficult to gain muscle in a cut, and in many cases, completely impossible. So what I would look at is look at the style of your training and ask, is this neural adaptation or is it actual muscle growth? Because yes, it is possible to gain muscle in a caloric deficit. So if you're a rank novice who just started lifting, it's all neural. But if you've been training for a couple months and you're still making noob gains, it's going to be a lot of it's going to be hypertrophy. Even though you're losing weight and you're in a deficit, a novice can absolutely recomposition during that time, as long as they're not a rank novice who's still in the purely neural adaptation. Also, you need to look at the type of training that you have been doing. If you Higher rep work tends to give a lot less neural adaptation. So if you're gaining strength and you're doing 10 rep sets in your cut, odds are you are actually hypertrophying a little bit. And now I generally recommend people do strength training, lower reps when they cut. And I've got other videos on that if you want to know why I recommend that. But if you just switched from high reps to lower reps, that initial couple of weeks is going to be neural adaptation. You're probably not gaining muscle at that point if you are gaining strength on the cut. But you also know that you're not losing any muscle either. And to answer that question, yes, if you are training for strength and you gain strength while you are cutting, when you go back to bulking, it is going to transition into better gains on your bulk. Now, if you have been strength training for a little while, you've been doing it for a few months, and you go into a small caloric deficit and your numbers still keep going up slowly, odds are, yes, you are causing some hypertrophy. Because with strength training, what you usually see is that initially there is neural adaptation, but the longer that you do it, the strength gains start to become more and more hypertrophy related directly in the muscle tissue rather than neural adaptation once it's exhausted those from, from a given training stimulus. So initially as you get stronger on a strength training or powerlifting program, initially it's neural and then it starts turning into hypertrophy and it gets to a point to where virtually all of your strength gains through certain phases are going to be completely from tissue hypertrophy, not from neural factors. You have to step back and look at it that way. What specifically are you doing? And that will tell you whether you are just seeing changes in neural efficiency or whether you are actually gaining a little bit of muscle mass when cutting. All right, guys, that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it has been informative, and I will talk to you next time.